A new day is dawning and the sunshine is rising. And with that, the Democratic Party of Guam gave a warm welcome to former Governor Carl Gutierrez to its Central Executive Committee meeting Thursday night in Sinahanya. The meeting comes just days after a group identifying themselves as the People's Movement picked up a gubernatorial packet at the Guam Election Commission for Gutierrez to run with attorney Gary Gumatautau. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight as I'm formulating whether I should run again. This is the most difficult time in my life. And while it wasn't an official announcement, Gutierrez told over 100 supporters that he intends to run. He spoke on how it wasn't an easy decision as his wife, Jerry Gutierrez, had relented knowing he could not live with himself if he allowed the party to just go into oblivion. The former first lady has since given her nod of approval. She knows that I cannot sleep at night thinking about that. I had hoped that from the ground up with the young ones here, there would be a team. I pulled back six months ago because I thought that's maybe what they wanted. As we reported, it was in January when the party nominated Gutierrez and Senator Frank Uggen Jr. as his ticket for Adeloup. That was short-lived as Uggen declined the nomination less than 24 hours later after the motion was made, deeming it moot. The two-term governor has run for the office several times, but says this election would be different. It's unprecedented to see that the whole factions that I've seen already of the Democratic Party, those that hated my guts, are staring me in the face tonight. And I love it. I love it. That's why I feel so comfortable. I feel so comfortable and confident that there is indeed true unity for the first time in so many decades that I see here tonight. I cannot let our people down. Gutierrez says he is looking at the position very seriously, adding Gumatauta would be an ideal running mate. Gumatauta is currently off-island and is expected to return on June 18th. Gutierrez says he would not formally announce his candidacy without Gumatauta present by his side, but hopes to seal the deal the day after his return. Several incumbents and former senators expressed their support, including Speaker Judy Wampat, who wrote a letter to the party. Wampat is off island, and party vice chair Narissa Underwood read the letter. These men are not afraid to fight, are not afraid of any adversary, are not afraid of the truth. These men understand sacrifice and hard work. They know the work that needs to be done to win. They are up to the challenge. The CEC, meanwhile, passed a motion to formally encourage Gutierrez and Gumatauta to present themselves as the party's ticket for governor and lieutenant governor. Petitions were circulated in hopes of gathering signatures in time for the filing deadline on July 1st. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.